Hello guys, how are you guys doing? I'm Thales and we're back with another How To Slice. In today's video, we're going to be checking out some beautiful animal skeletons. So, let's start. Hello guys, in today's video, we're going to be slicing this weird looking skeleton cat model. First off, we're going to be arranging all the model to the plate. So I just arranged all the models to the plate by selecting the toggle right here, arrange. As you can see, this model is divided into parts to make sure it prints without any support. This is a model that's easy to assemble and it's a printing place articulated. So you just have to connect the head to this piece right here, the neck, the jaws and the tail. So first off, I recommend you guys to do a calibration temperature tower to make sure that you're printing with the right temperature for your filament because these areas right here can cause a lot of stringing and to make sure that your printer is well calibrated so the tolerances for the print are perfectly fine so these parts can join and won't leave any inconsistencies so let's go right into the configurations print settings and let's see right here in layer height we're gonna reducing to 0.16 millimeters the lower the number the higher the quality in vertical shells we can leave at three over here in fill density we're gonna increase this to 15 percent and we're gonna leave the fill pattern to gyroid gyroid is a really good in fill pattern because it prints in waves so your printer never goes on a straight line that's really good to print without any inconsistencies and it's just turned out a better in fill um, pattern this is a model that does not need any brim make sure that your plate does not have any debris it's recommended that you clean your plate with isopropyl alcohol or with dish soap. This is to make sure that you got a better, better adhesion and you will not need any brim. If you turn on brim, um, sometimes it leaves some sharp edges and it's hard to remove. So you do not need any brim for this model. It's got a good, better adhesion, but make sure that your plate is really clean. So in support material, we do not need support material. Right here in speed, it's recommended that your first layer speed is at 20 millimeters a second. It will depend in each printer that you have, but sometimes we recommend you to reduce to 60 millimeters a second all the other layers. So you got a really good print and all the overhangs will be printed perfectly fine. So it may vary the value between 50 and 60. This is good for an Ender 3 V3SE. So make sure you slow down the speed to print with the maximum quality possible. So let's slice the model and see how we're going to print. So I just sliced the model and it will look really pretty. So if you guys have any rainbow filament, this model looks really pretty printing it with a gradient color print. So I recommend you guys trying it out and it's going to look really pretty. So right here, it will take seven hours and 16 minutes and it's going to take 50, around 50 grams of filament. I hope you enjoyed the video. Happy printing to all of you guys and Bye bye. I hope you guys enjoy it. Those slicing videos are an initiative from STL Academy, which is the educational project from Astelflix. So if you guys want to learn more about 3D printing, you could check our description and look at STL Academy courses. And don't forget, see you guys at the next slicing.